Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day six of the Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about Let me know what you think about today's farm. 343. Integer break. Give it an integer and break it into sum of k positive integers, where k is greater than or equal to 2, and maximize the product of the uh, of those integers. Huh. N is the 58, okay. Huh, that's interesting because Oh, it has to be at least two uh integers. This is interesting. Uh it's interesting because uh actually um what is it? Uh mind your decision, is it? Uh yeah, I think there was a Oh yeah, the mind your decisions had a problem uh, from two days ago, which I linked on my Discord, so you should you know check that out. Uh, where apparently this is an Olympiad problem from 1976, where it said determine the largest number that is the product of positive integers whose sum is 1976. Um, so this definitely um, let me see what maybe I will just link it. Hang on, I'll link it in the in the comments, but um. I don't know. YouTube is also giving me issues with it. I'll link in the comments that they asked me for that. Um, but basically, there's a very beautiful proof about this particular problem. So it's very, uh, um, just very coincidental. It's almost like I spoiled it, or maybe they, you know, maybe they were inspired by it. But I mean, this problem is been a while for Oops. Here's a yes, that problem. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we we'll definitely check that out. Um, it seems like I haven't solved this before, but now. Because I literally watched that video from two days ago. I do know how to solve it. There's a little bit of a nuance, which is I think for n is equal to two. So we can probably do a small case thing for, for okay, let's go over it a little bit, right? So if n is equal to two, then because you have to break into two, that's going to be one times one. So that's going to be one, right? So n equals to three. Again, you have to break into two. So it's going to be one plus two or one times two is equal to two, right? Uh, if n is equal to four, then it's going to be two times is equal to four. Right? Okay. And then n is equal to 5. You have 2 times 3. So that's going to be 6. And then now, uh, basically, yeah, and n is equal to 6. It's going to be 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And you, you know, you know, there's, there's other permutations like 1 times 2 times 3 or something like this. But obviously, they're all going to be inferior. Inferior. So that's basically the pattern is that you do as many 3s as you can. Um... Because basically the idea here is that, okay, let's say you have n is equal to 4, then, you know, it doesn't really matter if you do 2 times 2, right? So you might as well replace it. And then if you have n is equal to 5, or, uh, and if you could do it by, if you could subtract a 3 from it, then, uh, yeah, you would replace it with a 3 and obviously get something bigger. So that's basically the idea. Uh, yeah, so... Okay, let's write it out. If n is equal to, f uh, let's just say 3, then we return uh, n minus 1, right? Otherwise, uh, I, forget, I forget how it goes, but basically if n mod 3 is equal to 0, that means it's a multiple of 3. That means that we want something like, uh, is there a mod thing here? <laughs> so, power of 3 to n divided by 3, right? Because basically you have is that right yeah i think so basically you the the uh n over three number of these and then you take three to the power of that so that's which is this answer and then now else if n mod three is equal to one then in this case what happens right this is like a four right so then now you have four times three times three times three times three and that's basically the answer um because you know this is because you don't because here the 3 is going to be optimal, but then you don't want to do like 1 times 3 or 2 times 2 is going to be right. And there are only really two permutations, right? Uh, I mean, or is it combination? I forget. But, you know, without ordering, so it's just going to be 4 times 3. So then now this is going to be return 4 times power of 3, uh, n minus 4 divided by 3, maybe, right? Yeah, right? And then else, this is going to be n mod 3 is equal to 2. So then now, this is just 2 times 3 times 3 times 3, dot, dot, dot. So this is going to be return for uh, 2 times power, 
3 of n minus 2 over 3. Um, and, you know, because this is division, uh, uh, integer division, you don't even have to be that precise. But, you know, eh, it, it's, this seems more straightforward than me than, like, you know, doing the rounding in your head. Uh, but, yeah, let's, let's look at some big numbers. Uh, and for this particular problem, it should be okay. Let's see if that's... Ah, okay. I, I guess I didn't do the math whether that would be too big, but... It goes up to 58, so it's 3 to the 16 or something, or 3 to the 20. Uh, I guess so. Huh. I mean, 2 to the 20. Uh, I mean, I would have maybe plugged in the calculator, but, you know, now that this is good, give it a submit, and there you go. Uh, I mean, this is obviously O of 1 or ish, um... But it depends how you want to define the input because input is the number of bits. This power function is actually linear in the size of the um, the number of bits. So you can say maybe this is linear time, linear space. I don't know. Uh, but n only goes up to fifty eight, right? So uh, so yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to do the proof about this because it is in that video uh, that I looked at two days ago. Uh, the proof is actually very beautiful, so definitely check that out. But hopefully this idea kind of makes sense. Uh, I know that I didn't really get a chance to break it down, but I think that's how I would have kind of, that's how I attack these problems in general. It's kind of like think about all the cases. Um, but I guess that that is the thing, right, is that if you know the answer, obviously these problems are easier. And today I don't, you know, I don't want to pretend otherwise. And, you know, this isn't an interview where I'm like, oh, let me pretend I haven't seen this and then slowly grind it out. Uh, and I don't do that because uh, it's a waste of my time. It's a waste of your time. Um, but, yeah, that's all I have for today. It's a little bit of a weird day. But, yeah, uh, that's all I have. So stay good. Stay healthy. Take your mental health. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'll see you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.